so I find that connection is like the most confusing thing for a lot of people. And it, it, this leads into a really good question for you is where, where's the starting point for a person to where they can adopt data um, at a small level and then kind of grow into the conversation that we're having right now where we're able to talk in a specific language and know exactly what we're talking about and really realizing, oh, that player is really good because he has these different types of numbers, which I think is a very good language to have because it's black and white. It's not gray. I'm not trust. It's not, it's not opinion. It's fact. So like data collection is very broad, right? Like everything is specific, can be counted as data as long as it's collecting information. Writing everything down is the best start. Like everything, hours of sleep, how much, I, how long I took BP today. Uh, what about, what did I eat that day? And then like grading yourself, like find a system where you can grade how your body felt during practice, how you felt during the night or how you felt before you went to bed and how you uh, felt when you woke up, which is probably super important. Cause so that's the biggest thing is like, I would just create like an Excel sheet. And I'm sure there's like an app out there that helps you do this and just document like everything you do. And then you can kind of correlate, like that's data collection. That really is diving into data is under like finding correlation. You can do that for free. You could do it for free. Excel's free. Um, <laughs> I guess kind of free. Um, but, yeah. Or carry a notebook with you. I mean, my, my girlfriend does that. She carries a notebook with her and writes on everything she eats and when she works out and everything. And um, she said she's a better data scientist than I'll ever be. And uh, she works in production. But uh, so, but that is like the best start you could have, like is writing everything down. Because a player who has that kind of type of skill set and developing that type of skill set, that's the player who like when he gets exposed is ex exposed to like technology side of data it can just like consume it a little easier um but that's where mm -hmm. it starts is just writing everything down i can't I just can't stress that enough it's just you know it's like when you get when you use tech and uh do all these new things they don't like know historical backgrounds on you like i can't like a blast motion doesn't like can't tell you what you look like the night before mm -hmm. or what you did the night before like you got, I, I just say like writing things down is probably the biggest one. It's always, it's always learning, right? Always being willing to learn and being able to slowly consume like, oh, connection means this or then buying a whoop strap or buying a blast motion sensor. Don't buy a, don't, you don't need to buy a rap soda device. That's super expensive for you, but a club could probably have that and you're able to start gathering data there. But I think that's a very solid point on just literally write it down. Just need to get a notebook. I would focus on process oriented metrics, which is lucky that's where blast kind of lands in. It's like anything that's not like result driven, like, you know, like exit view is a, a result, launch angle is a result, stats are a result. Um, but like the so process, doubles, metrics, those are all results. Yeah. Those are all results. It's really hard to focus on those things. Cause like, they're just outcomes. So like, I would find, find like more process oriented metrics of those outcomes. So like for pitching, which you know, be nutrition. Like nutrition, sleep, and like for performance, like, you know, spin rate for pitchers, you know, rotational acceleration for hitters on blast, um, on plant, you know, anything that's like more process oriented, it's just like telling you a story of what's happening there. 